Hey, 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 everybody out there in YouTube land. Ooh, mercy, I ain't been on video for a while. A lot of things have happened. Been having a problem with a truck, electrical problem. Been in and out of the shop like three times in the last 30 days. Spent a week in a hotel in Fargo. And thank goodness we get breakdown pay and layover pay and all that kind of good stuff. Otherwise, I got no pay due for a couple weeks. But, got a new trainee on the truck, Aaron. Aaron's been with me about three or four days. I think he's a plant, guys. Got to be a plant. It's his first OTR job ever. This guy drives a truck. I'm not having to tell him how to do anything, how to take turns, how to drive the truck. Tells me he doesn't know how to use Jake brakes. And next thing you know, we're driving along. I'm watching him. He's using his Jake brakes and everything. I said, I thought you didn't know how to do that. He goes, oh, well, well I watched you do it. And I, the guy's a plant, I'm telling you. He's going to go back there and say, he, he abuses me, he's nasty to me, he's corrupted me. I, I can tell you right now, I'm probably going to lose my job, guys. Just forewarning you, so if that happens. <laughs> no, Aaron's doing really well. Um, kind of a strange thing with Aaron. Aaron went through the CDL school at Coon Rapids with Magnum with the LTL and dedicated fleet. And... Uh, Got his CDL that way and then wants to go OTR. He actually was trained and drove for three weeks with a LTL and and dedicated. So that's the reason why he actually drives so well. I'm not having to teach him so much how to drive the truck. He's got that. I'm basically just having to teach him how to do his job out here OTR, paperwork, checking in, running the people net, managing his clock. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, even though he's supposed to be with me for 30 days, I'm going to probably try to throw him in his solo truck at the two-week mark if, if they'll let me. But that's not my call to make. Company gets to make that call. But I'll tell you the truth, I think he's ready right now to go in a solo truck. As long as he can run his clock and do his paperwork, I say look, turn him loose. But that's my opinion, for whatever it's worth. I don't know if y'all been watching these videos. You saw that Nene basically got robbed. Um, you know, go check out her videos. That's, uh, you know, we ought to talk about those things more often. About three months ago, I try, uh, some guys tried to run a similar scam on me. You can go back in my videos. Uh, it was about three months ago. The videos listed, I got scammed. Well, I come out of it a lot better than Nene. I'm, I'm going to tell you, watching Nene, uh, her first video about it, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I was crying with her. That was terrible. That was uh, absolutely terrible. Took her wedding rings and her diamond earrings and a bunch of cash off of her and and there's still fallout coming from that nasty situation. Which actually ended up me giving a class about the scams that are out here and all the things like that with my trainee yesterday. So probably an awareness and good thing. And, and thank God Nene wasn't hurt. But uh, I guess I was watching all those videos last night. And I had the weirdest dream. I have uh, lucid dreams fairly often, almost night. You know, that's even even in scripture. Uh, old men have dreams, and young men have visions. It's one of the actual signs of the end times. But I have lucid dreams almost every night. I had the weirdest one last night. I. Uh, I was staying in this old rundown hotel and uh, I was there for a couple of days and this hotel was like haunted and uh, 
it was morphing and changing. Yeah, it was weird. But what was weird about it is that Nene would come by and pick me up in the morning and we'd go to breakfast, go run around town and stuff. And then later on in the afternoon, she would drop me back off at the hotel. The weirdest freaking dream ever, man. Weird, weird dreams. But thought I better make a video and let y'all know that I am back out here on the road. We have uh, run a load to Ohio and then ran a load from Ohio back up to Bismarck. And I'm not exactly sure where we're going from here. I'd like to get a load going out over the Rocky Mountains. I want to take Aaron over the Rockies. I think if I give him a mountain package, a couple days driving in the mountains, uh, I honestly think this, this young man is good to go. So we'll, we'll see what happens with Aaron. And uh, I'll talk to him about it. I'll probably put him on a video and interview him here in the next day or two. We'll make, we'll make Aaron a YouTube star, right? <laughs> Anyway, you guys have an absolutely great day. God bless you each and every one. Remember, you two can change the world. All you got to do is be nice to each other. Bye-bye.